Hey, my name is Elizabeth Elliott. Today I will be doing my demo speech. I will be talking about how to make wood round door hangers. Today I have with me Jason, Julie, and Kenny Rogers behind the camera. So today I will be talking about wood round door hangers. These, I like to decorate for the holidays, sports, schools, sororities. So today I'll be showing you how to make them. Wood round door hangers have become very popular in the past few years. Um, many people use them as decorations for their front doors, bedroom doors, nursery doors, and hospital doors when they deliver a child. I know many of us have wanted to catch the eye of passerbys on our front door, make our houses look great and wonderful. Um, these door hangers can be customized per person, per family, and they can be interchangeable for the seasons or even holidays and sports teams. Um, many people make these door signs as a hobby or as a full-time job. Me, I just do it as a hobby. Um, I started this about three, four months ago, um, and I started with my mom. She kind of helped kick me off the ground, and many people have gotten these as gifts and presents for their grandparents, wedding gifts, nursery doors, etc. Um, I've sold many of these, most of them to my mom and to her co-workers as they are school teachers, so as the new year started they got these door hangers for their classroom doors. Um, I'm currently working on some door hangers for some fellow co-workers of mine and now I just need to show you the um, items that I use in the supplies. So here is a plain 15 inch unfinished door hanger so you can buy these individually or you can buy them in bulk at your local Michaels or some wood shops near you. I use one of these per door sign and I also use stain for the wood. You also need rag, ribbon, um, florals if you want florals, um, paint if you paint it any style. I like to use vinyl to help me make patterns or to cut out letters because I don't have a good paint and hand style. Um, so I always like to have a clean surface whenever I start. I get my wood board and I stain it first and my painter's tape. Once my board is painted, I set it aside to let it dry. And I go on my design website and I make my design for whatever word I want printed out on it or name or design. And so as my board is drying, I make my design and I go cut it out on my Cricut where I make stencils or the words that come out. And so as the wood's drying, I do that and I come back once it's dried. I then get my painter's tape and I tape it off either horizontally or vertically wherever I like to, um, either halfway or above half, three quarters, whichever the design, and you paint it whichever color you want. I like to do basic colors for now, unless it's a customized board. Um, while I have the paint drawn, I start making my ribbon, my bows. So there's many different ways to make bows. I just watch other YouTube videos. I have one particular bow that I like to make. It's on my finished board that I'll be showing at the end of the video. Bows are a little complicated. It's not my forte. Um, so as my paint's drying, I make my bow. And when my paint's dried, I go and I pull the ribbon, or I pull the paint off the painter's tape, and I start um, make sure that my design is located where I want it, and I place it down on the board. I place it on the painted half, and I peel it back, pull it off, and then I start working up top. Sometimes I like to seal the board before I start my ribbon and the florals, and sometimes I don't. So after I do 
all of that, place my design on the board. I, um, I then get my board and I start working. Sometimes I do multiple um, decals or letters or designs, florals, it depends on the piece and whatnot. Here is a sign that I finished. It's a cow print. So I've cut out vinyl um, as a stencil for my cow and I put the word welcome on it in vinyl and I sealed it off with a clear adhesive and then I have two different colored bows and then my green away and I just used um, hot glue for that to staple it down and it already has a little hook. So once I was done with this, you're all good and that's all you need for your wood sign. Have a good day.